Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's card is going to be using a stamp set for Lawn Fawn. This is for the Fusion Card Challenge. It is called Chalkboard Christmas. So that's what we're going to try to sort of represent a little bit. It's a bit of work in this one, but it's good fun and you do have to be a little bit careful in some ways, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on. The stem set I'm going to use is a Creature Was Stirring. Now, it does have Christmassy sort of tones to it, of course, but you could also use this stamp set for a normal cooking type of person. Like a friend of mine is, is really into baking and I could definitely use this for her. I'm just going to clean up the image. Now we've hit, hit that with a bit of heat gun. I've got some sentiments here. Now I really would have loved to put all the sentiments in, like my full sentiment into this tray, but we're going to go with the flow. So we're going to do for the first time, I don't know, maybe never, I'm actually going to put a sentiment on the inside of it. So we've got this hitting it with a bit of the anti steak pad. We've got I wish you a and then we're going to have make a little dot 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 and we're going to heat all of its heat embossed. There was a little bit of problem with my post-it note and with the stickiness on it but it worked out fine we're gonna fix it and we're gonna see what happens but that's right at the very end and you'll see that a little bit there is lots of little sentiments so I'm making my own little Christmas like a little Christmas chalkboard sort of thing but it's it's my Christmas paper that's what I'm trying to get I've cut the tray out again or stamped it down again and cut it out using full stick post-it notes so I could put some of my images behind. If you're not familiar with the Fusion Card Challenge, you either use Sketch or you can use the photo image or you can fuse them together, hence the name, and yeah, just use both of them in the design. I'm going to go with the photo this time. This The photo, obviously, it was chalkboard the honestly I don't even remember what the sketch was but we're gonna we're gonna do the chalkboard I'm not the only one there's lots of the design team that have actually used the uh, the sketch in, in one way or another and that's perfectly fine it's good fun I've stamped those down with a Versa mark I'm now going through the these I'm gonna fight with these stamps I'm gonna tell you now they are super clean to my fingers. My fingernails, it was just holding, grabbing everything under the sun. So what I found was if you use a eraser, I got interrupted by lots of people banging. Where was I? I don't know. We were talking about the eraser. I know that. I'm also using a acetate that has a grid printed on it because my stamps are dirty they've got the Versa mark on it so rather than fighting with the ink and the embossing powder I just laid that down and I'm not cleaning it because we're doing the same thing over and over again I am embossing as I go you do have to be careful because there is a there's an, there's an opportunity, there's a chance that you're going to go over your embossing and melt it too much. And that is completely what it is. It's true. I, I didn't have too much of a big problem. I made sure the heat gun was really, really hot and kept it moving and tried to steer the heat away from other already heated things this is my little bit of my problem when I went to take my folder off my hand on my folder oh yeah. ah, dear my post-it note off that's why it was a little bit stuck apart from the fact you've also like your heat boss embossing you know what I mean like it's melting into it as it we're gonna fix that later on so it doesn't matter 
into the final round of stamping here and just trying to make sure images go off the edge so it feels like a continuation continua continuation the pattern is still going what can I say the pattern is still going and that's important so otherwise it, it it looks like it's a piece of card um, pattern paper rather than just something you've stamped and also making sure that all the images get rotated around so you can see there's a I can see a breadstick that's in a couple of different directions there's whisks and wooden spoons and everything else so we're just finishing that off I am wiping the embossing powder off a little bit but I really didn't care it didn't matter because we're using it as a chalkboard anyway I haven't trimmed this down yet but I will I've got some picket fence uh, distress inks and I've just gone around the edges I will revisit that later once I've cut it down and I knew I'd probably have to cut it down but I wasn't too sure what the deal was Prismacolor pencils here I've got a white now I'm just making sure my images all stand out I've gone over the images that I wanted to color because I'm not going to do all of them but all the images I want to color I'm going over them with white so I've got the Christmas trees I've got a little bit of holly the berries and the hollies I'm going to do later on some of the candy cane which we're going to do now and I did every second one but I will go back through later on and put more down to cover so my candy canes look a little bit like a white and red rather than red and black the other ones that I'm going to do in the same technique is going to be the bread but I'll do that a little bit later on I wanted them to pop off the background a little bit more and have a little bit more definition to them so the bottom and the left are left well no it doesn't really matter does it because I'm looking at this so it's your left as well I am making sure that I've gone around and just use a different amount of pressure so right near it we'll come back to that in a minute the loaves of bread I'm doing the same thing I'm using a brown and I've gone over it with white well let's quickly go back to the the background so very very close to the images I've let I've done a heavier hand and then I've moved out with a lighter hand to blend it in you can still see it obviously but I don't mind that because we're doing for a rough look to it the tray I've also I've, I've cut it out there but I did go back around the edges just to make sure they're white white the tray I've colored with the same colors as the bread but I've just I haven't put the white down so it looks different so I've got PCO 907 for the peacock green 925 for crimson red I've got 945 for sienna brown and I've got 938 as the white I'm using a gel pen don't do this yet because I'm just gonna smudge it and I'm a twit but we can fix that we're just gonna scrape a little bit off and then color it in again not gonna see it the rest of the sentiment I, I masked off the merry so this time we're going to just mask off the rest of it and stamp the merry and then the Christmas is separate you see it floating around there I pressed a little bit too hard because I don't do this ever but it's it's fine it's it's not a problem my head's gonna get in the way because I really needed to make sure I was over the top a couple of dots to say that was continuing from the front heat up a little tiny bit and then we'll go back through with the white gel pen just make our dots so that's my card I hope you're well I hope you like that leave a like and a comment and I'll talk to you soon bye